Welcome to the Fantasy Draft Weekly Rundown. Joining me as always is co-host and NFL Ironman, London Fletcher. London, I saw you talking about it on your TV spot this week, so I wanted to ask you about it, especially because I know everyone didn't see this, but uh, Merry Christmas, first of all. We got that coming up, and I wanted to ask you what your favorite Christmas gift you ever received was. Merry Christmas to you also, Ricky. <laughs> Thank uh, you. you. Know, for me... Uh... I proposed to my wife on Christmas Eve uh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago. So that was the uh, the best Christmas gift I got. She said yes, obviously, since she's prepared now. <laughs> so uh, I'll say that was the best Christmas gift I ever received. That is a hell of a gift. Uh, I got to ask you, what are you, what are you hoping for this year? You got something on the Christmas list that you've been looking at? Uh, you know, I'm a... I like clothes and, and uh, shoes, so I'm a. <laughs> I, I like a, a new pair, of, you know, shoes for the show, or or a nice sweater or something, you know, not not one of those ugly Christmas sweaters. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, there's nothing like an ugly Christmas sweater party, though. I must say, those are uh, some of my favorite in terms of dress right. parties. Uh, let's go. Let's talk NFL. Uh, staying on that Christmas subject. Which team do you think could use the gift of a win this week uh, the most? You know, I think uh, the New York Jets. The Jets can use the gift of a win versus the New England Patriots. Um, you know, they should have. They really should have beaten the Patriots the first time they played up in Foxborough. So um, they could use the gift of a win, but they also could use the, a gift of a loss by either the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Kansas City Chiefs in order to. Uh, keep their uh, playoff hopes alive because if both teams, if all three teams went out, the Jets will be left out in the cold, even at 11, at 11 and five, which, um, you know, doesn't even seem fair. You, you, uh, you go 11 and five and don't make the playoffs, but uh, the Jets could use the gift of a win and also the gift of a loss by either Pittsburgh or Kansas city. Yeah, it's going to be tough for them. Let's go straight into the picks because I think the Steelers are in for a big week this week. I don't know about you, but it looks like just the perfect matchup for Ben Roethlisberger, who's going to be my quarterback pick of the week. He's only 12700 and when you think of, you know, how productive he is when he's healthy and when he's got Antonio Brown, it's just it's not enough. They and I project them for the, you know, the t- the uh, top total of the week. And when I say they, I mean, Vegas got them at 28.8 projected points this week. So, you know, four touchdowns. And I think a lot of that's going to come from big Ben who threw 380 yards and three touchdowns last week against Denver. Who's really the top ranked defense in, in almost any metric, especially against opposing quarterbacks. Now he gets the Ravens who are ranked 25th. So this could be a bloodbath. I, I just don't see, you know, usually I say, I'm going all in on a guy, but this week I'm serious, you know, in cash (laughs) games, even if I do multiple cash lineups, they're going to be both big Ben. I know there's still guys who who are are in good matches, but, but to me, he's the play who, uh, who do you like? You know, I like, uh, I like Matthew Stafford versus the San Francisco 49ers at home. You know, really Stafford is kind of lately over the last four or five ball games, really play some, uh, some good football. Um, under the radar, so to speak, um, 12 TDs and only one interception over his last four ball games. You think about this, three touchdowns and a win against uh, New Orleans on Monday night, uh, that 35-27 win in New Orleans. So I like him against the San Francisco 49ers at home. The 49ers come in with the 22nd, um, 26th ranked pass defense. You know, I, I, I like that matchup. You think about this, San Francisco is traveling all the way across the country. So – Matthew Stafford is the guy I like at the quarterback position, and he's only going to cost you 11-4, not at the, uh, at the upper echelon at the quarterback position. Yeah, it's been impressive, too. I think Calvin Johnson's receptions have gone down four straight weeks all the way to right. one last week, and he still got it done. You know, Golden Tate. Eric Ebron so Stafford's playing some good football you, you know the old Stafford would have relied on Calvin and the new one right. still or get it done. It through, through, uh, through some interceptions by forcing the ball to him yeah you mentioned uh, Calvin Johnson only one reception only uh, and only had one target in that ball game yeah yeah and uh, I, I wrote about that this week that I think the Saints against number one receivers are tough but uh, Calvin Johnson looks like he's getting old which is kind of sad for us uh, fantasy guys who've loved him for years uh, let's move on to the running back position 
I only got one this week because I think I'm actually shocked that his price barely went up last week. Let's look at David Johnson of the Cardinals. He was priced at 10-7 last week. Uh, I was curious to see what the price movement would be this week after 180 yards and uh, three touchdowns, and he moved up $200. So we're still looking at a guy that's not priced in the top five of running backs. And to me, you know, this is a guy kind of like Jamal Charles who can take it to the house at any point. He's a full workload type guy. And you're getting him at that price. I mean, to me, he's got a shot to be the number one running back the rest of the way. So at 10, 900, you know, I'm using him and not and not uh, having any qualms about it. Uh, who do you like this week? You know, I like uh, I like Adrian Peterson. Um, before that, though, just uh, touching back on David Johnson, he is an outstanding running back. You talk about not only the yards rushing, but the ability to catch passes out of the backfield. So, yep. You know, he's a – I don't know, maybe we need to have a talk with those guys at Fantasy Draft and, and get his value up a little bit more. Uh, I like Adrian Peterson going against the uh, the New York Giants and their run defense. They give up 4.2 yards per carry. I know Peterson, you know, sprained his ankle in his last ball game, but I'm not overly concerned about that. You think about this, this will be a Sunday night football game, big game. The, the uh, Vikings are still trying to um, – you know, compete for the NFC uh, North division. Peterson is in first place right now with Doug Martin right on his heels for the Russian title. So there are a lot of incentives for Adrian Peterson to go out and have a big game against the Giants and that defense that the run defense that has struggled all season long. So look for Peterson to have a big game, even with the bum ankle. And then there's a second guy that I like. I like Darren McFadden going against the, uh, the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. And you think about this. Darren McFadden rushed for 100 yards against the uh, the New York Jets in their number two ranked run defense. So the Jets are stout run defense. And, and McFadden was able to get 100 yards on only, on, on only 16 carries in that ball game. So McFadden is a guy that I like. And also uh, Peterson. And McFadden is going to – it's not – you know, totally um, overly expensive. He's only, only going to cost you 9800 So McFadden or Peterson are two guys that I like at the running back position. Yeah, two things. Those of you who were killed by Peterson last week, I know it's going to be tough to go back to them, but I did see speculation that he could sit out for Sunday Night Football, so follow that story. I think we will have clarity before then. I think it was just a beat writer who wrote about it last night, so I'm sure they'll ask yeah, him no, about I, it today. I saw that um, – I saw that he is expected to go. I read that he is expected to go. Okay, okay. So just follow that if you're you're rostering Peterson. But if he's expected to go, definitely ride him. Go back to the well. I, you know, these guys are human. They play a tough position. So just because he left with an ankle injury doesn't mean that you're not using him again. Uh, I know there are some people like that out there. So that's all for the first half of the uh, weekly rundown this week. Stay tuned as we'll be talking wide receivers, tight ends, defense, and, of course, the questions that everyone loves so much.